Hello, and welcome to our virtual STEAM series. My name is Candice, and today we are going to be creating bubble paintings. Now, there are lots of different ways to create bubble art. We're going to be focusing on just a few methods. For our first project, you are going to need, of course, bubble solution, food coloring, a cup, a craft stick, and some painter's tape, and you will also need a canvas for this project. Okay, the first thing you want to do is add a little bit of bubble solution to your cup. Probably about this much. And you're going to add quite a bit of food coloring. I'd say at least 10 drops because you want this to have a nice, rich, vibrant color. And you're going to mix it up with your craft stick. The next thing you want to do is you're going to use the painter's tape to tape off some kind of design onto your canvas. I would also recommend getting into some old clothes to do this because bubble painting is very spattery. And then the next part is super simple. Dip your wand into the bubble solution and start blowing bubbles. What you're going to try to do here is get bubbles to land on the canvas as much as possible. So that is what makes the design. You can use as many colors as you want. For simplicity's sake, I've chosen just two for today. As you can see, like I said, this is a very spattery project. Okay, so I have finished blowing the bubbles onto the canvas. And like I said, you want to try to get bubbles to land on here, because you can see these are some really nice overlapping circular patterns. And I have, of course, covered all over the canvas, and now I'm ready to remove the tape. Okay, so as you can see, I have my flower outline. Now, the bubble solution does kind of seep into or underneath the tape because, you know, it's watery. And actually, I would recommend you removing the tape as soon as you have finished getting your bubble solution all over the canvas. But I actually really like the blurred edges here. I think it I don't know, adds a little something to it. Now, alternately, you do not have to use painter's tape to create your bubble art. You can just use a blank canvas or a piece of cardstock. But to do the painter tape bubble art, you do have to use a canvas. I tried it with a piece of cardstock, and unfortunately, the painter's tape did not come up easily off of the cardstock. And so, if you see here, I have my rings of bubbles. A lot of little dots going on here, and I think it really came out with a pretty design. For our last project, you will of course need bubble solution, cups, food coloring, and a craft stick to mix it up. You will also need straws and a half sheet of cardstock. And you want to fill the cups up a little bit more. Now, if you don't have bubble solution at home, an easy way to make bubble solution is with honey and dish soap or corn syrup and dish soap. And I'm just going to add a few more drops of food coloring in here to make sure I have those nice, vibrant colors that you need to do bubble art. So 
what you do is you put your straw into the cup, put your piece of paper over, and you're going to blow bubbles. And it is important to note that you blow the bubbles, do not suck into the straw. And just keep repeating. Here are a couple of examples of what the blow bubble art looks like. So thank you so much for joining us and we hope to see you again next time.